joining Dukascopy TV at the IFX Expo here in Cyprus 2014. With the help of our partners, we're quizzing the industry elite for their insider info. Drew Niv joins me in the TV booth right now. Drew, welcome to the TV booth. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to see you. Now, if we talk a little bit about looking at what clients should consider when wanting to get into the industry and looking to open an FX broker account, what should they consider, do you think? I think the biggest, uh, biggest factor in where do you open an account is, you know, one is, is your money safe? Right, number one. Number two is, do I trust the broker to be, you know, to be giving me a good service? You know, are they on, on my side? You know, are, is the services what I need them to be? And everybody's going to have a little slightly different need. And I think at FXCM, we cater to a slightly more sophisticated customer who has a, a little bit more of a, um, of a field that he wants to trade with a broker that is trading on his side and not trading against them. Excellent. Now, if we talk a little bit about social media, Andrew, it's something which has revolutionized the way people, everyday people, go about their everyday life. But what does it mean for FXCM? When the world is getting ever faster and communication is key, how do you strategize to keep up with these trends? So we have actually uh, like a social media ambassadors and we you know, get on social media to answer questions. So a lot of people, you know, try to hide from social media, not comment, you know, keep stuff secretive. Very big disease in our industry. People want to keep everything to themselves. And we believe, you know, we have nothing to hide. You know, because of the philosophy is we're not on the other side of the customer trade. Being a public company, we just close our financials anyway. We essentially go on social media, we answer all the questions, we interact with customers on it. And so there's a Facebook page, a Google page, you know, we have, you know, all of those things. We think social media is a, actually a very positive role to play, it allows customers to interface, you know, on a real-time basis from wherever they are. And that's, uh, you know, been very good for us. Excellent. Now, moving on a little bit to the idea of globalization. It may be imperative, really, to have a local presence in a global market, but how do FXCM approach this? Is it important to have perhaps a foothold in as many different regions, regardless of size, or are you looking to find that niche, that particular region with the largest market influence? What would you say? Yeah, so we do, you know, there's, it's not practical for us. You know, it's a very heavily regulated organization. It's not practical for us to have a footprint in a place that's very small because our compliance costs are too high. You know, we would have to only take certain kinds of customers. We cannot take everybody. And so it's one of those things where we have a local presence generally in places where there's a big market, you know, like in the, in, for example, in Europe, we would have it, we have a local presence in the UK, in Germany, in France, in Italy. Uh, you know, in a few other places, but mostly the big countries. And I think that that's something where, like the smaller countries, we generally service from the big countries. There's no way for us to go and do a local office everywhere. I think that if firms get, you know, have too much overhead spread and too many things, they have to then charge for it and, and customers feel a okay. difference. Of course. And just lastly, Drew, if you would, could you tell us, please, your top tip for someone looking to get into the industry as a startup broker, for example, what advice would you give them in terms of strategy? I think the biggest thing that I, that people have is to say that like there's a lot of niches you know out there that aren't filled still today, right? That big brokers cannot fill, and a lot of brokers are having a hard time. That I think today, especially in a world where people are online and uh, everything is uh, you know lots of information. The information business, the quote business, very, very easy to get into. So for brokers to disseminate stuff is, you know, sort of everyone has free stuff. I think the personal service, and I think personal service and personal advice is still something, and decent amount of personal advice without the broker being on the other side and giving bad advice. You know, this is, this is something that's very rare. In the industry. Fantastic. Well, Drew, thank you for coming in and sharing your insights with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, well, that's all from Drew Niv from FXCM and myself for the moment. But make sure you keep clicking back to get all of the insider info from the IFX Expo Cyprus 2014. Goodbye for now.